search. The FAA now says a contractor accidentally deleted digital files last week, and that caused thousands of delays. Kelsey Kernstein is live this morning at O'Hare Airport in Chicago with more on what we are learning. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning, Mitch. Well, I was here at O'Hare Airport when all of this happened, this system-wide shutdown leading to grounding of flights across the nation. It was absolute chaos. Well, now the FAA is explaining themselves, saying that contractors actually unintentionally deleted files on two separate databases and led to a system-wide shutdown of its alert system that notifies pilots of very critical information. Now, the system-wide shutdown, it happened uh, across the nation, leading to thousands of flights forced to be grounded for several hours. Some 10,000 flights were delayed across the country. At the time, planes were able to land, but they were not able to take off. Now, the FAA says during its preliminary investigation that there's no evidence of a cyber attack or malintent, but the FAA says they're continuing to investigate and update Congress, saying that lawmakers, of course, are demanding answers, but it brought to light that the computer system that the FAA uses, it is an aging computer system, and it's some 30 years old is what has been investigated. But the FAA said when this originally happened that they believed it was a damaged database that caused a system-wide shutdown. But the FAA is saying now that they have fixed the issue and they are working to make their computer system more resilient. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.